Actually, one of my coworkers had a bunionectomy on both of her feet, and I think she had it done on Thursday. On a Tuesday, she was back at work, and she was walking. And I thought it was phenomenal because I had been procrastinating about getting my bunionectomy done because I had had one done seven years ago, and the process was excruciating for me. And so I put it off as long as possible. And as the weather started to turn cold and I needed to wear closed-in shoes, it became more difficult to be able to sustain a shoe all day long. And so I figured if she could come on Thursday and be back to work on Tuesday and functioning, then this guy had to be awesome for that to happen. Ironically, I have a surrogate mom who had a bunionectomy done a few years ago and I didn't realize that Dr. Nagler was her doctor. She talked about this doctor and it was after I had gotten my first bunionectomy down on my left foot and she said, you should have told me because I have this doctor. She wasn't in any pain. I'm like, I don't understand. How did you just have surgery and you're up walking around and you're saying you're not in pain? Oh, your pain tolerance level is just, you know, far greater than mine is and I just chalked it up to that. And we were talking and I said, I think I'm going to go and get my right foot done. And so my coworker told me about this doctor. I said, I'm just amazed that she can walk. And she said, who? And I said, Sherman Nagler. She said, oh my gosh, that's the doctor. I've been telling you that you need to go to. And so I was convinced then. To even get started, even when I called, the whole thing was really easy. I think when my very first office visit, he had an intern who was shadowing him that day. and. I had problems from my surgery on my left foot for whatever reason I'm experiencing some tingling and so he was like let me try this and you don't have to do it but I think it may give you some relief and it did and he, he thinks there's some other issues going on with that but I did have some relief with them but I mean didn't get excited didn't rush me didn't blow my concerns off which is really important to me and it was just easy the day of the surgery, I, I was just, I was joking with one of my friends when I went over to the surgery center and I said, I've never seen people who are so polite about asking you for your money. You know, it was like, okay, just pay, you know, pay my deductible. And one of the things that I told uh, the ladies in the office here that everybody was extremely nice. I'm, I'm allergic to adhesives and they believed that I was allergic to adhesives. And nobody blew me off and said, okay, this is hypoallergenic and you shouldn't have a problem. It, it, the whole start to finish thing was pleasant for me, which lowered my anxiety. And I, I think the whole process has just been great for me. I've already given his name to two other people because when people ask how long has it been since I've had the surgery, they can't believe that I'm up and walking. Um, the, the pain pump that he did to my foot, I don't think that I would have been able to walk because when I had my left foot done, I was not able to walk. I can remember driving up to school with crutches and it hurts under your arms, it hurts on your hands, and I'd have a student come with a rolling chair and roll me to the elevator and roll me to my office. And I work in a two-story building. This year I work in a two-story building. I go up the stairs and down the stairs don't even use the elevator so it's been a totally different process between the left and the right foot I mean especially in a short period of time